you can just stop right there. All right, we've just come walking down the road, and as you can see, I'm not trying to make contact. We've got a leopard right next to us here. Have a look behind my shoulder there. That is very, very close for a leopard. We're actually just looking at his track. Squirrel started to make a noise. We looked up and 10 meters away is this leopard. Now, with us creating space and not facing him, it's giving him the impression that we haven't seen him, which is a good thing. So what we're trying to do is not, not show our faces to him. He's hidden behind a bush. I got a feeling that this is either <coughs> Hosanna or Tamba. Difficult for me to say because I don't want to pick up my binoculars and scare it. Leopard, unlike lion, you do not want to. You don't want to. Uh, you don't want to make eye contact. Luz just confirmed that that's Hosanna. And just how relaxed is that? I mean, leopard on foot at 20 meters is incredible. And you can see he's now lifted up his head. He's a little bit more relaxed. Not much, but a little bit more. I'm looking at his tail just to make sure that that doesn't start to flick up and down. He can still see us looking at him, but we still got our backs towards him. <coughs> this is amazing. It's incredible. We're actually just looking at his tracks going, wow, these leopard tracks are fresh. <laughs> Meanwhile, he was watching us the whole time. Amazing. Now he's lying in the open there. And to be honest, you can hardly even see him. Now I see a few of you are posting the fact that you're amazed. And to be honest with you, this is the second time I've been this close to a, a leopard on, on foot here, one of these cubs. I've obviously been closer to other leopard um, on foot, but they hardly ever have this reaction. All the tricks that we've learned over the years of keeping leopard in sight while you uh, while you call in your comrades are being put into play here with uh, with this particular sighting and they work which is amazing which is don't make eye contact create a bit of distance stay in the open put you if you can without exposing yourself put your back to them and that's what we've done here and he hasn't even moved Normally, as soon as they see you making distance, they, they move off. <coughs> now, Luis says a few of you are saying that, that, that Hosanna likes to follow people on foot. Um, there's a possibility of that. It's not uncommon for, for leopard to do that. Uh, I've heard of female leopard which are born in lodges uh, do the same thing, follow housekeepers around, become, become mischievous. And in this particular case, I think that there's a good chance of that. It obviously becomes a danger if they start to think of humans as a game. But can you imagine how scary it would be if Leopard had to hunt us all of a sudden? And he's lifted up his head again. I don't want to go off to the side anymore and expose him completely to us. At the moment, he thinks that he's hidden behind that bush which is exactly what we want to keep. Uh, we want to keep that sort of status quo prevailing. That is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, everybody, it's, it's, it is uncommon to find leopard this relaxed on foot. Now, in, in actual fact, it's, unheard of. Um, I'm gauging how long we stay here and what we do and you know at the moment he is not giving any indication that he's worried about us at all. It's completely safe for us. He's not growling. That slight tail flick is because of the squirrel and the Franklin next to him just increasing the anxiety a little bit. But at the moment, no danger whatsoever. Now, James Richards, you were wondering if Osano would still be as relaxed on foot as he was a couple of months ago when we were doing a lot of bushwalks. And uh, he hasn't lost that, that lack of fear. 
that is associated to most leopard on foot. This is honestly just amazing. Now, Ages, you want to know what will happen if I square up and make eye contact with him. He'll probably, it'll increase his, his anxiety to a point where he'll turn around and he'll slink off into the drainage line behind him. <coughs> so, what you don't want to do is, leopard like to know that they're hidden, even if it's just a false belief. So right now, we're just standing here, I'm not even facing him, my back is faced away from him. Uh, Viam is slightly turned to the side rather than square up. Um, Herbie, who's standing behind us, is staring balefully at him. But, uh, but you know, the, 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 the key is, is that we've kept the, that little bush that he's got between him and us. And I'm closest to him and I've got my back towards him, which is making him feel a little bit more secure. I'm also covering VM with the majority of my body. So <coughs> although he's hearing us and our voices, which would not be uncommon, he's heard voices since he was a little cub, uh, human voices. Um, we've, got, uh, we've got our back to him and in my opinion, that's what is counting here. At some point, he will probably stand up. But for those of you who were watching yesterday, you saw what happens when a leopard gets alarmed. Yesterday, we arrived at some lions around Twin Dams, and Tamba came down to drink, and he got a smell of those lions. And even at 50 or 60 yards, it was enough to send him sprinting away to the top of a tree. That is the normal reaction of a, of a leopard. Amazing. What we're going to do is create a little bit more distance just to get his tail to stop moving again. We're going to try that. And while we do that, we're going to send you back up to the morrow with two James, who's got some lion to show you.